Hello, everyone. We can't see your screen. We can't see what you're looking at. Looking at what? To see if you could see your screen. No, I was actually no, just looking to see. I, I thought it was something weird with your audio levels. I was just making sure it was all working okay. Oh, no. It's good? Yeah, we look good. I'm probably going to lower the desktop audio just a smidge. Hi, everybody. Maybe just because you were talking really quietly. Probably. Who are you? Who are you? Sleepy hi, kitty everybody. cat. Thank you for the sub. Jacob says hi. There he is. I'm working. He's working. Um... Hey, people have started Violet Evergarden because we talked about it, and they're loving it. Hell yeah. It's a great show. It's, I mean, it's my favorite anime, so. Who it just you? feels like one of those things that's poor moi. Um, what am I drinking? I This is Gatorade, because I'm feeling a little under the weather today. And this is tea, because I'm feeling a little under the weather today. It has our kitty cats on it. Thank you for the compliments on my shirt. It's from Uniqlo. I'm wearing a suit today. Just no blazer right now. Who are you? Um, we got a few subs. Chrissy Cross. Chrissy, Chrissy Crossy. Subscribe. Utron. Uh, Sleepy Kitty Cat. Funky Little. Who are you? Death Omen, Cademon the Raider gave out a sub, Screamin' Root subscribe, Cademon the Raider subscribe, Pinjetin subscribed, and thank you all very much. Um, yeah, I don't feel too bad. I just, this morning I woke up and I was like, uh oh, I'm definitely sick. And now that I got some food and liquid in me, I feel a bit better. I don't feel hundo, but I feel like 90%. I definitely just feel very tired, um, which I think is the number one problem. So I feel tired and maybe a little dehydrated. Screaming Roots. That's how I'm going to say your name every single time, and I don't know why. But I apologize. Um, we're playing Orwell. Mike Eagle Dick just gave up five tier one subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> the fact that the Gatorade is in a jar does make it look a lot worse. Um, it's hot in New York. That's why I'm a little red. I'm also wearing long sleeves and pants, which doesn't help. Um, ooh, roll up my sleeves up. Um, Who are you? Tried to cook an egg yolk. Who are you? So, we try to give her basically all safe for cat human foods as we can. And sometimes she like egg and sometimes she don't like egg. And I'm not sure. We haven't solved the mystery of what differentiates egg that she likes. We were able to give her some um, sliced chicken, like chicken chicken slices, like deli meat. She liked that. Who are you? She also likes ground meat, so if it wasn't a feels like of 100 today in New York City, um, we were going to go to Petco and get her some fancy ass cat food. We tried to get her fancy feast and she could not care less. So. We'll see. Um, soap in the fireplace. Yes. It's a little scratchy post. Olive loves it. Olive likes to sleep on it and in front of it. Because that's stone right there. And it's nice and cool. It's pretty warm in general in this apartment. And really hot outside. So, um, Orwell. I was going to play... Sorry, my eyes are a little dry. Uh, I was going to play Ignorance of Strength. Who are you? 
but the first one is a smidge better. I mean, I haven't finished Ignorance of Strength just because I, I got it when the episodes came out. When, like, episode one came out. And then I just fell off. But we do have the air conditioner on. So it's nice that you can't hear it. It's a gentle hum going on. So this game is about you control... Um, you basically work for, like, the government, and you spy on people through their computers, and you enter their information into this uh, data software that you have so that, you know, they can track you. It's like a big brother machine kind of thing. And, um... Uh... It... Like, you can change the path of the game by putting in certain things and leaving out other information. Uh, it's very interesting. It's a little spoopy. Not like jump scare or whatever. It just has that like creepy, icky feeling. Um, it is, uh, as Ursus Ferocious says, 1984, but we're the baddies. Um, you feel like an employee who's sitting in front of the computer and doing this. I had started this game on a previous stream because we had ended a game early, so I started playing this. Uh, I was going to ask if we should just start over or go with the old file, because we didn't get that far, but I feel like if there's a lot of people... I feel like if there's, there's, if there's a lot of new people, maybe we should start over. Okay, Nicole went and bought this game after they watched the first stream. That's cool. What do you think? Old or new? I'll start a poll. Jacob, how do I do a poll? There's a button. Look at your buttons. You probably gotta add it on, on yours. It's called... Uh, Manage your poll? Yeah. All right. Wow, we're gonna... Okay. I'm gonna do a poll. New poll. You gotta do it again. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay. Let's go! Okay. We're getting a lot of new. Ooh, it's looking overwhelmingly new. Kirbin. Kirbin. Thank you for subscribing and also Starlight the Cat and Manly as Princess and Jeff Threepo and Mountain Ash Tree and the Coconut Whisperer. Thank you all. Alright, so it looks like we should start new. Uh, which I don't mind. Uh, so let's start a new file. I have so many things open on my computer because I was in the middle of doing work. Uh, Alright. So, or well. Let's do a new profile. A profile 2? Empty profile. Yes! Congratulations! You have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please cre career profile. This is a cool lady. I kind of. This guy's also very cool. What do you What do you think? I'm between these two. <laughs> Who are you? It Karen just gifted out a tier one sub. Thank you so much. I was doing um. Patreon drawing requests. And also just organizing it for everyone else. 
lady. A lot of people are saying lady. Dude, I'm not doing I'm not doing Fedora. It seems pretty Alright, we're we're gonna we're gonna be the lady. What should our name be? Lorewell. Lady Gay too. Doris. <laughs> not a spy is very funny. Nargret. No, not Nargret. Yeah, I think we already named. Oh, Vesney. Yeah. I like Vesney. We're doing Vesney. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I've already signed up like a billion times from starting this game. Spaghetti. I could go for some spaghetti right now. For some reason, whenever I'm sick, I have this huge craving for pasta and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this game does start off with a terrorist act, so. Just a warning, just a heads up. This game is all about it being under the guise of counterterrorism. It's all, we're supposed to be the bad guys and we're not supposed to feel good about it. It's kind of the point of the game. I always want box mac and cheese when I get sick. So this intro is basically just showing how the system works, you know? Have I played before? Yes. I have played this one th in its entirety on my own time back when it came out. And then I played Ignorance of Strength. Um... I played Ignorance of Strength, I think, episode one and two, but then I think that's it. All right. The clocks were striking 13. You're online. Good. So this is how we're going to play this. the rest of this game. The entire game takes place on a desktop setup. Uh, call me Sims. I would be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Also, no... No, uh, spoilers in the chat, please. Normally, congratulations would be in order. But as you can see from that footage, there's been an incident. Let's get started. I activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites, documents for easy access, and highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want to be informed of the situation. I want you to be informed of the situation, whatever. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. So, you can like click these articles and read them. It's all about the, the, the thing. Um, the star next to things means that they're, you haven't looked at it yet. Or there's new things that you haven't clicked or, you know, some information. And then it all gets movie shooting completed. Shooting of the Grey Shadows saga has been finalized. If you couldn't tell, this game came out at the height of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. It's a little outdated now, but here we are. I have not played Don't Feed the Monkeys. I couldn't tell if that would be too bleak for me. Um, 
Jacob K. That's so nice to hear. Good luck with it. All right. So see, there are no stars, meaning that we have opened all the things we could possibly open. So let's go to unknown person. Profile holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you've opened is for our main suspect. Blue haired woman that the CCTV footage shows for the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look, take a look at the arrest record. Oh, is it still here? Okay. Then I'll check it out. The highlighted elements in the records are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case, any connection or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. So anything that has this like blue highlight over it is stuff that we can drop in. So we have a name. So now the name is in our databank. We have a profile picture. Now we got a pick. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Ms. Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. So her charge is that she assaulted a police officer. Upload that. If you get, so if you put in data chunks that don't need to be there or if they're misleading, sometimes they'll catch on to you trying to, um, you know, game the system a little bit and that you're not doing your job and then there there will be consequences like i think i mean i haven't done this but it, it, you probably get fired uh i know that i put in information too hastily on someone and someone died um when you can in fact like save the person and i just didn't know i didn't know that would happen uh good with the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you'll see what I mean. Is this woman a terrorist? Or probably not. Woman, alleged injure, woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago, remains in custody. Trial schedule in August. So, see how things got highlighted. Those are things that we can drag and drop. So we can put in, the incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. So we don't have much say in what can go in because we're in the tutorial. So everything that we're being told to put in, we have to put in. in the exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. Yeah, she went from like punching a dude to killing a lot of innocent civilians. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Who is an artist by profession. Okay. Oh yes. One who does street art by blowing up memorials to pieces by any chance? That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope, actually. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it fix mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of targeted persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. 
We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay. Oh, I see. The great port dot folio. Okay. So we can drag this as a new picture. I prefer this one to, you know, line up. Although, it'd be cool to have. Um, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. So, like, if I put this in, because it's saying that it wants me to put it in for her address, that would be incorrect information. Right. I quit my dull day job focus on my art career. So that's just, you know, good info. So we're going to disable the Wonderland thing. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job is. All right. My Utel account is the Cassie ninety two. Good, you found a chat handle. This will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. So I just thought that was interesting. So we're gonna include that. A Christmas present for my darling. We can put that in. We're working for a, a kind of 1984 sort of Orwellian government. As said by the name of the game, Orwell. Okay. Go to the listener. Let's look at her session. So she's talking to someone now, and we're able to see it. Unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Josie. Josie and pussy cats. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. <laughs> I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. That's going into the system. Can't stop me now. So credit card from an unknown person. If you were able to find out who she's talking to, we could lock it for the owner. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick me up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all round badass, have in mind this time? Probably just a business call one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes. That's exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents, then. Ooh! Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Gotta go now. Text you later. XOXO. All right. Let's put in Yosef Langley. Okay. Wait, you still have a credit card from a lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. You now have a profile for a related person. It can be assessed, or accessed, sorry, via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons. It can only be extracted to the relevant profiles. All right. Oh, there we go. Watergate. Pharma entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. Let's go to the reader. Products. Netherin blue. Tastes like lemons. Nothing like sucking on a lemon. Who 
tasted a lemon and was like, yeah, more things should taste like this. Bruno, Alice, Cassandra. Allison, yeah, okay, we'll just, just set that in. Ah, now we see. Keeping it a family affair. So, if we put this in, is that actually the same person? What do you mean? You see one hair color change and you're like, duh. Different person. That's how my brain works. Uh, documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if it's any new information available. So, well, she's not this anymore, so like I shouldn't add it, right? Well, it's not changing her occupation, it's just adding it to the thing. Guess that way everything stays in the family. Being an artist and junior COO seems quite odd. She actually mentioned she quit a dull job, didn't she? Alright. Me. I just noticed her mouth. Bruno. Whoa, we have boy. We are currently looking for a COO to replace a retired, formerly appointed predecessor. So she did leave. Confirmed. Maybe I was wrong. But nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant by quitting her job. Good. Love it. Headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Number four, have there been so few violent crimes? Excuse me. Shaving a haircut, I really like that joke. Becoming a coup is the highest hope of many a pigeon. Very good. Oh, Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicting data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing the conflict, other will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once your information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. So anything that's in yellow means that it's butting up against another information thing. Um, I am going to do this one where she just looks elated. Uh, so we have this. With the case being closed due to lack of evidence, or the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome. We don't really know yet right now, right? Because we haven't really been reading any of these articles because it's the tutorial, and I forgot that I'm supposed to be reading. All right. So let's see. The case being closed due to lack of evidence. Uh, let's see what her file says. Subject was arrested on site after Officer Franklin has been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. 
protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the subject was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground and put her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. So I'm going to say that it's probably a lack of evidence, right? So let's do that. I'm just going to click that so that goes away. Safety bill. I love this graph because it's like so many graphs that I'm seeing right now. Like with the economy. And the economy started crashing before the virus hit, apparently. And that just reminds me of this. It's like crime was going down already. It hit a peak and then it was already going down. And then they put the safety bill. And then they use the safety bill as like a look, it's working. It was already going down. It was already, look, it stays the exact it's good details. Good details. Mwah. Mwah. Good details by this game. Alright. So I'm gonna say that there is no evidence. This is what I figured. I pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? No. Let's find out what happened in between those two lies of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? From becoming a big pharma girl to someone who wants to paint pictures of cats? saw the light. Alright. Nice. Adding that. Good. Alright. Happy birthday. September 13th, 1992. Happy birthday. Interests. Art. Music. Activism. Activision. Art. Music. Activism. What a lineup. Like, the most common lineup for those three, I feel like. If you want to learn about history, learn about art history, and you'll learn about both at the same time. Or music history, or food history. It all correlates. Did you guys know that there's an entire German art movement that started, like, just before World War II? broke out and then broke out like it's plague started um and then ended like the the time period for it ends during the war because all of the forerunners for that art movement were fighter pilots <laughs> or were boys who painted quite a lot and then they were forced to become fighter pilots and then they all died so yeah who are you it's one of my favorite little examples of art history teaching. What? Of uh, art history correlating with art, uh, uh, world history. Violala subscribed. Someone said on her info page they said it was July or whatever. Is that true? What info page is that? The arrest report? That was the arrest. That was the arresting date, not her birthday. Um, so let's go back to her profile. All of you government lackeys. See, this is one of those ones that I don't want to add because it says opposes the government vehemently when she just says, fuck all of you government lackeys. I, I think I've yelled this at the cats before. 
to substitute the word government with cats. Because sometimes they're little dipshits. I wouldn't say that I vehemently oppose my cats. You shut your fucking mouth, okay? I've yelled the line like this, like at Photoshop. Or at like my dishwasher door. Because it won't close. Sometimes. said that because that's important with her lawyer hmm. might be noteworthy that's what I thought Sims that's why I added it Sims case closed what Cassandra shall be known to the world as Cassarthus I never want to say that out loud again. The sentiment is fine. It's just the name. It feels bad to say. It challenges all speech impediment me. Invite your little activist group. This dude's looking like a Final Fantasy character over here. Is an interesting thing that I should add. It's almost tempting in this game to not add any of the information because I just want all these people to win. But that's a little bit of the point of the game, is that you're supposed to feel bad. As you solve this little rabbit hole that's happening. An activist group? Is there anything more specific? I don't know. Sam's? You know, let me continue to look. Sam's? Okay. So... Oh la la, oui, oui, non. That's how you know someone knows French when they say, oh la la, oui, oui, non. Um, let's see. Having an amazing shopping tour with my Mary, the best friend of all times. The best friend of all times? The? All right. Um, so this post was made April 12th, 2016. Let's see when she starts being mad at Mary. See, this is new. January 30th, 2017. So I'm probably going to add that, right? Because that's more recent. Eventually, there's going to be some complicated conflicts, and then I'm going to ask the chat, like, what we should do on the thing. How sad. Sam, so you don't have any feelings. Uh, what else is here? Okay, yeah, I'm just going to add it, whatever. An alias name. You know, people on the web. So many names. So many. I go by the name Pigeon. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. Alright. What's this? See, I'm not going to put that. I'm not going to put that. I think she was just being upset. Kikiko. Ki, ki, yeah, Kikiko. Yeah, a little geometric kitty. All right. Projects. Okay, so all this shit about the safety bill. Ah, look, I'm hugging my child, and the only way I could hug this child is because of the safety bill. I love the safety bill. They made it legal for me to hug me child. Oh, look who it is. Definitely not a combination of 
the U.S.'s current president and Boris Johnson. That has some strong brows. They look like little pieces of tape. Meep, meep, meep. He does look a little like Michael. <laughs> no, I'm Kyle. Yeah, you might want to rethink your alias. Alright. Uh, I think I clicked all the things that I could click. All the clickable clickies. What's this? Yep. Okay. Let's go back to the listener. We have a new chat that's between Cassandra and Yosef. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have a history with that place. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories. No, it was just there moments before this happened. Ugh, I never should have gone to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anyone, especially not to me. I was so happy when the gold fells accepted me into thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Guys, I've been watching a lot of Call the Midwives. It's a lot of fun access in that show. Let's think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest, then you never would have been wrongfully indicted. Then we would never have met. Yeah. And I probably uh, would not have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You are not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, damn it. What? Your card's not working here. You can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money there. I guess we'll have to go without wine then. Uh. Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule. And I can't postpone it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. One appointment here. A pimpnit there. Appointment every fucking where. That's her nursery rhyme. How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, you've got to come down. Have you taken your methrin? Yes, damn it. It is the only thing... That matters to you that I am on fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please. There's nothing like that, and you know it. This duo is very fun. It's a lot of Muppety. Muppety things. So I have to keep my mouth shut for me. You leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh, no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm not its important client anymore. Now come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list anytime soon. Please. It's a lot of fun. So, you see, that whole conversation happened because I stopped the cart before. Well, Grayscale, you don't have to play this game. I'm playing it for you. Let's play pills or the lack of medication. Cause that's what nice smart people do. 
Oh, sarcasm, as you can tell. What's this methrin? Can you look it up for me, please? You look it up. You Google. Fucking Sims. Uh, methrin blue. Antidepressant to help stabilize your emotions. I love how very quickly this game tries to, to bring this in as like a maybe she's mental and then immediately it's like shut that shit down she might be emotionally unstable if she's relying on this medication sims you suck what else we got cassandra's timeline what we got i'm gonna disable this do i have to put it in i don't think i have to put it in ah here's the other ones i have to catch a bus there every day I also love the implication that because she's on antidepressants, she would have blown up the plaza. Like, I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. Meaning her presence in there before the bombing could be a coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Is that that? An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. Who is called Thought? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. I feel like this game, I, I really like this game, genuinely. It's, it's, it's a very interesting game. There's nothing quite like it. Other than the second one. Um, I feel like it could be improved by not having Sims sometimes. Yeah, I'll give you that. So, all right, let's go to reader. Let's go to the overview. So this is thought. This is that group that she was in, that activist group. I keep wanting to say Activision. The Activision group. The thoughts are free. Sometimes political commentary things are so cringy. But it's good writing on the gamers, on the gamers, game developers part, because I could totally see someone saying that thoughts are free. I was listening to something. What was I listening to? It was like a really popular song, but it was like, oh, it was an Incubus song. It was an Incubus song saying like, we should be happy before they make it illegal. I was just like, oh no. Oh no. I'm 14 and this is deep. Freedom is unfree. You see what I did there? It was clever. Oh, this is her alias. It's cams. Cams everywhere. She's just everywhere. It's all over Twitter. No kidding, I love Cam. Even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me? Or is it more than just a little bit? I don't know. Ironic. <gasps> wow. Tina Lito, congratulations. All right, so now we have a conflicting data chunk. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We've always been against violence. Fair enough. Abraham, never trust someone who has like an outdated biblical name. I'm not saying that as a hard and fast rule. I just feel like that's like cult territory. All like American religious cults always choose like very biblical names. I also like every criminal minds. When founding this blog ago, years ago, when founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all of the web. And now it's in our real lives too. Pretty sure the book 1984 also predicted it and literally everyone in the history of this planet. 
I mean, like, names that no one names their kids anymore, you know? I don't know. There's, like, the... There's, like, the common biblical names, and then, like, the really... I also mean that jokingly. I'm not like, you know. I'm not ragging on anyone for naming their kid a super biblical name. It's all cool. I don't actually care. Just, I feel like in media, anytime someone has like a super biblical name that no one uses anymore, it's always like, here's the cult leader. I guess what I'm saying is that it's a trope that no one really uses anymore. that everyone uses and they shouldn't all right so i can't access any of these archived ones <laughs> i also my brother wanted to name one of his kids one of the um knights of the round table in like one of those very old English names and I was just like don't do this to your child please nicknames from it would be really cool the whole thing I feel like I don't know a little much again actually don't care people can do whatever they want but See, I feel like Aurora coming around. Coming around. Made popular again by Disney Princess, so that's fine. So I'm not going to add this in because I don't know what it's conflicting against. Our thoughts still free. Published in March 2012. Happy you? birthday to me. By Goldfelds. Rouge bear. Thank you for the sub. Again, my actual opinion on names is do whatever the hell you want. Who cares? I just think in media characters named something real spooky it's like the opposite of like the the fan fiction problem when you're reading fan fiction you can immediately tell who the oc character is because they're just named something either just like really wild and like unfitting with the rest of the naming convention of the show or just like and then <laughs> And then Bob entered. It's like my favorite fan fiction trope. Th there are like self insert o OCs named like Jeff. It's just like you get all these cool fantasy names and then you get Jeff. Or sometimes you'll get like a fan fiction for a show that takes place in old timey times and then they'll introduce a character with a weirdly modern name. I don't know. I've, I've really set a tone. <laughs> Jeff Smuckers. Great. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna read all this. Because it's a lot of reading. Gold Fells. Ah, uh, yes. A very easy to remember email address. Nesquif school. <laughs> I also say this having written a whole show where everyone has ridiculous names.
Alright, let's see. I can't click any of this, right? No. He's got, he's got kind of a pursed mouth. I think I think about the fanfiction naming thing so much because one of my favorite darkly bits of all time was one that Brian Murphy wrote um, about fanfiction, and it's like self-insert characters. It cracks me up. It's such a good one. It's like DBC DBZ fanfic. That's great. Anyway. I don't think we would do a dramatic reading of a, of a fanfic. Because I, we don't want to come off as, like, mean-spirited. We would always do it as, like, fun, you know. But we never want to be, like, I don't know, shitting on something. Because it's not worth, I don't know, I don't know. What am I supposed to be inserting here? Do I have to insert this stupid thing? Ads, huh? Is it ad time already? Let's do ads for three minutes while I try to suss this out. Uh, go take your meds, drink some water. I'm gonna probably get myself a drink. Um, have a bite to eat if you haven't in a while. If you need it. I don't know, do a stretch. Where to stretch? Check your posture. See you in three. Yeah, I think... The show conflict thing won't show up because we don't. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So, when is this from? 2017? When is this from? 2016. See, even with her saying finally someone had the, the whatever and whatever, I still don't think she's like, she means it. Thank you, Truck909 and Kasaroth, for plugging things better than we do. There's a drop you stream today, just a reminder. 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be drawing people's requests. And then we'll be having a bonus stream soon. Next week. So you'll be having a bonus stream next Friday and then a draw class the last Friday. There was a new surveillance chunk on our timeline. Really? We, by the way, announced the draw class subject. I will be hosting. Uh, and it's going to be how to um, draw realistically and from, like, you know, the art school perspective as the best way to explain it. Oh, yeah, I know this is the conflicting evidence. I just don't want to do anything until people are back. You know? Got 40 seconds left. Hey, Jacob. Huh? When you have a, when you have time. What do you need? Can you get me water or Gatorade? You want some water or Gatorade? Yeah. Which one do you want? 
Give me Gatorade. You want Gatorade? I have a glass. You want me to get you Gatorade? Yeah. In that glass? Yeah. Right now? I'm gonna put Joy in your seat while you're gone. In my seat? Yeah. Joy? Yeah. Here? Why are you like this? <laughs> me? Like this? Uh, how's blender learning slash practice going i have not had free time i had like an hour to play satisfactory the other day and that i did jacob's always doing a bit it's fun Except for when I wanted to just get me some carry. I was really hoping Joy would come over and just steal a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you. Let's get back into it. Finally, someone who's had the grin. So this is like the more recent one, so I'm probably gonna use this. Except, I don't actually think she means it, but I am going to put it in, because it's the most recent one. What suggestion would you make for someone thinking about getting into watchmaking slash watch tinkering? I think go onto eBay and look at, uh, look for broken pocket. Hi. Hi. Hello. You uh, kind of came out of nowhere, little Olive. Yeah? Hello, you jumped right up to my desk. This is our little problem eater. She needs to eat more. You need to eat more. We gotta fatten you up. We're gonna get you some... I don't know. Some one of every kind of food from the flippin' pet store. See what you like. You put food in front of Joy, she eats it. She sniffs it for an eternity, and then she eats it. Olive, you put food in front of her. Smells it for a longer eternity, and then doesn't. And then she comes back to sniff it. And then doesn't eat it. <laughs> Stop hitting me with your tail, girl. Okay. Oh, she wrapped her little tail around my my hand. Her little arm. Right? Right? Sheeper. 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 Okay, let's get back to the game. Since Olive's a little bit of a more nervous cat, we don't brush her as much, and so every time I pet her, it's just fur central. Okay, I suspect that much. Seems like we're gonna look at the right person. Look at what you've extracted so far. We're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. We're not. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Oh, I haven't played the Black Sad game. I don't know if it's good or not. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. The comic is the beautiful work of art. Soups for cats? There are soups for cats. She has one treat that she really, really, really likes. She's also not that anxious. She's getting better. She's just a little bit more shy. She doesn't have like a, an anxiety problem. She's just shy. Um, we have a treat that she likes. One of those like squeezable treats that has like the shredded meat surrounded by goop. Right? You like that a lot. 
problem is that anything we give to her, we have to give to Joy. Because Joy is a gremlin. we found so far is good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little bit more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Dig a little deeper. Okay, let's look at the listener. Juliet Carrington. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know. Your post on the timelines about this assault. You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just wanted to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off some steam, you know. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other shit today. This bombing stirred up all this crap again, you know what I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. Cassie, you hurt that officer to save me. And you succeeded. You mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. How could it have not been my fault? Juliet, I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. <laughs> Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him. And this is why you should really remove this post. I feel like an asshole. Worst kind of asshole. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie. No one is innocent. You'll have to let it go. I'm putting that in. What? Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. What? I thought that would prove- Okay, whatever. Remember, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. Very good work. The investigation team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take the post down. It'd be better, believe me. Wait a second. Somebody just showed up on my door. BRB. Okay, I'll wait. By the way, how's your boyfriend? Are you still together? I haven't been talking about him that much lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? Okay, here's a problem. Just because you have access to someone all the time doesn't mean you should expect them to answer you all the time. This lady's flipping out about this lady not answering her right away. Shit happens in your day. Texting is meant to be a convenience, not a annoyance. Not an obligation. I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. Do a good job in any case. Don't feel like it. Although we have no proof she is involved in the bombing, we may be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of Miss Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable in her threat. Okay. Just received confirmation that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group, though. Whether they. Oh god. No, no, no. Take a look at the news. dead after a second explosion. Oh, goodbye. Was I not paying you enough attention? I'm sorry. Here she go. <sighs> yep.
Yeah, I had a problem for a bit where I felt like I had to respond to people immediately on, like, everything, but I'm also the host of a channel that has almost 1.5 million subscribers, and that's impossible to do because I'm just getting messages constantly. That is horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same layer found. So these assaults are connected. And as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time. So that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. Ugh, this complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my superiors. See how we need to proceed, given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling in the next few days you're going to try to be are going to be trying your best. What is clickable here? It is So that was a good summary of everything we learned today. Episode two, place where there is no darkness. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We have tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors, and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capacity of Orwell to handle this. Or capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. My superiors agree with me. Based on the information you already extracted, the activist group known as Thought is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfells is an important member of Thought, so we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. We did do ads, yes. So now we have this little, you know, relationship tree going on. So let's see. So she was arrested again. As you do. Redacted arresting officer. Mm. <laughs> she willingly opened the door. Yeah, because she didn't know who was at it. Click to that. What else is there? Heavy thunderstorms expected for the weekend. Wanton and Fairview, as well as large parts of the Western Nation, will be covered in heavy rain clouds, culminating on Sunday. Heavy rain clouds are coming! Photo. Stock overflow. TNA. By the way, if people like this game, I will keep going with it. And I'll play it on the next stream. Oh, here we go. The letter. We were right, it seems. to the nation. The cucko kid brings up a good point. Always check who's at the door before opening it. 
You don't have to open it if you don't know who the person is. That's good, safe tips. Because, like, worst case scenario, someone finds it a little bit rude. I mean, best case scenario, someone finds it a little bit rude. Whatever. Well, I guess that's worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is that someone finds it a little rude, and then you have to have an awkward talk of, like, I'm sorry, I don't open the door for strangers. Which, if anyone, if that person is a reasonable human being, they will understand. Um, you know. In, in, otherwise, you are saving yourself from, you know, maybe something bad happening. An immigrant. Mm. Mm, yes, I see. I'm Sims. I've blamed... Uh, women with depression who's on medications. Who else can I blame now? Oh, immigrants. Love it. Love it. I love scapegoats. I love it. That is why I created this blog. The Thought. Active group with the same name as this blog? Goldfells was the one who created this block. Maybe he founded, or even was the leader of the activist group. Me, 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 me. After one and a half years. Recruiting two of my students and arranging three demonstrations like the one held in Freedom Plaza. We should add that. That's interesting. It's a good note to have. Hmm. Three demonstrations. More interesting. Might be the two students to be involved. I just felt a cat and there was no cat. Frankly and sadly. The answer to the latter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those we thought to do us wrong. I now see my high aims might well be the cause of all the events of the past months. More than anyone else in thought, I feel responsible. I will halt my active engagement in this group. I firmly believe it shall be for the better of everyone involved, especially my students from Stelligan. Whatever active engagement means. Still, an interesting fact. I'm gonna put that in. What now? Stelligan? The stain? Stain? Stelligan? Where a bomb just exploded? Now when I think about coincidences, I won't repeat it. Sims! So far, the evidence suggests that Goldfells was a prominent lecturer at Stelligan, and some of his students became involved in thought. Did he, like, recruit them to his cause? We need to identify those students, see who else is involved in the group. So, are these the two, are these conflicting with each other? Yeah, they are. So what is this summarizing as? React with hatred and anger about troubled past of thought? Hinted at troubled past of thought. This one feels responsible for troubled past of thought. I feel like it's this one. What do you guys think? The top one or the bottom one? One or two? One is this top one, two being the second one. They're conflicting with each other. I also think too. All right, thank you. Let's put this in. Because I feel like the first one is implicating him too much. The trouble passed. We will have to get to the bottom of this. Thank you everyone for your contributions. Suspect of font and bombings arrested. Oh, that's the... That's Cass. I don't actually think she did it. Knowledge, science, wisdom. And sometimes all remains silent. Continue to main page. Okay. 
I love when you gotta love college websites. Again, really good uh, writing on the developer's point, but it's like bomb assault on Stellion. Campus closed down to further notice. Oh my god, this is an unspeakable tragedy. But you know what? We have the nation's best public dining hall. Wow! <laughs> the jury of the nation's best contest. Please, don't come to our school. There has been an unspeakable tragedy. But do come for the dining hall! First suspect arrested in connection with the assault. Uh... Whatever. At least I didn't name her. If this were America, that name would be like here, here, sideways here, over here. Her face would be all over. This is America. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, you. Oh, hey, you. I'm sorry about this, but I really should have come over. It's just that this client is massively influential and could bring a whole lot of exposure to the office. I've been trying to get a meeting for months and it went rather well, so here's hoping. God, I'm such a stupid old man who just likes to talk about his job too much. I'm sorry, it's just such a big part of my life. Hello. Are you still upset? Cassie, can't you at least answer me? If you don't, I'll start to worry. You know what I'm like. I need you to respond immediately. Between each text message is not even a solid minute. That's this, All of these were from a minute ago. They were all within the same minute. He wanted this woman to respond to him immediately. This is a problem. Yusuf, this is a problem. Yusuf, we have a problem. And it's that we cannot chill. We cannot let people have their own life and things to do. Notable alumni. Buford. Buford, Orlando sounds like a place. Atlanta Buford. Stelligan alumnus. Whatever. Catherine Dedequa. Joseph Langley. What if... Can we put this... Why can't I put this picture in? What? Joanna McElroy. Courses. This course is currently unavailable to her representative, Prof. E. Goldfels, having retired. Oh, we have a picture from Mr. Prof. Oh, God, that's a good. Ugh. Raven Jade brings up a good point that Yosef graduated when his girlfriend was born. Yosef graduated university. Abraham Goldfels. Uh, Abraham it is. Well done. Got to accept the offer of professorship in the field of media ethics at Stelling. Stelligan Stella, which he sadly retired in fall 2016 did you notice the bombing location seemed to be closely connected to Thought there could be a pattern emerging Thought has held three demonstrations yet there have only been two bombings which might imply well <coughs> Definitely a shot in the dark. 
but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member with thought. Find out the locations of all demos they've held. May yield a hint. Okay, we're gonna add that. He's also the chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. Chairman of Ethical Congress. Just the average run of the mill terrorist trait. What? Wow. That's a lot of information about gold fells. Yet, only one other page can be indexed. Very strange indeed. I think the next course of action should be to look for other people of the soccer group, like the students he mentioned. I didn't sneeze, I coughed, to be fair. Well, what do you say to that? I literally wrote the book. What was this guy was like? He majored in ethics. He's a terrorist. That man's no no strikes wrongs. Okay, so he was in media. Oh well, he well not twenty sixteen. Uh, twenty seventeen. Um, did he teach in the summer? Left fall twenty sixteen. So he could have been summer. And to spring summer fall. Props. What? Juliet Carrington. Grade A annotation master thesis. Resident Tech, Ten Commandments, Pillar Success, or just PR trickery. Where have we seen Carrington before? Do you remember? Oh, the friend. That's right. All right, let's add that. And also, uh, we've seen this name before, haven't we? Right. She was a friend of Miss Winter Kate. Now, it also appears that she's a student of uh, Abraham Goldfells. I think that's enough to war warrant a report. Give me a few minutes. Alright. We have authorized... We have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. So now we have Harrison O'Donnell, who is also a friend. I believe it was on her, like, timeline or whatever. Harrison O'Donnell. Yes, we've seen that name connected to Miss Watergate. I'll report this right away. Okay, we've been authorized to consider Harrison O'Donnell a target person. Now, there's some more work for you. Congrats. Great. Harrison and Juliet. Those must be Abraham Goldfell's students within thought. Well done. Alright. Harrison. He's a media punk. See, that's not his occupation. His occupation is not media punk. We're gonna add that. Do I have something to hide then, Mr. O'Donnell? Does he ever not give you snooping permission? No. We're allowed to do whatever we want. Alright, uh, everything alright with you? Now it is. Go find a written responses to this. I feel sorry for the girl. It's clearly she's been attacked and just panicked. I'll never ask for this. Uh, I mean, this is probably about her arrest, right? Fascists turned this into a nightmare. People didn't do shit. Protesters were peaceful until they showed up. 
They stormed the crowd and provoked what happened. Oh no, a little, a little on the nose. A little too relevant to today. Huh? Have you been suffering from bad games of self censorship lately? What's happening to your timeline? So it seems like there was a switch. Because this happened in 2016, and then something happened in 2017 to, say, early 2017 or maybe late 2016 to prompt him to delete these things. This couple rock the show, as will rock the rest of the goddamn nation. Thank you for taking me along, honestly. I didn't think that I would be welcomed so warmly. Nor that my humble skills would be worth coming along. I mean, he is easily jealous. We're, we are going to add that. Okay. So, we should remember towards the end of 2016, maybe very early 2017, he deleted a bunch of posts. And we should try to figure out why. So let's go to Juliet's profile. We'll add her picture. Her birthday is February 1992. Yeah, it should be okay. It should be okay for tonight's stream. Fair view. Um, thank you everyone for your concern. It should be okay. I'm gonna, you know, make some more tea after the stream and do some more work, but it's not gonna be anything too strenuous. And, um, I should be fine. I should be fine, thank you. And we also talked about maybe having, you know, going back to three hosts on episodes sometimes, just because we have a lot to do. So maybe, maybe I'll pull that tomorrow, who knows. PR is like... Assistant at Pros and Tech. Okay. I mean, I don't see how this is relevant, but let's add it. Wow, what a face. because that was confirmed by them texting. Oh no, I forgot about that part. I didn't realize that that would add that too. Uh-oh. Oh well. Uh-oh. I didn't look at all the options. Alright, I'm gonna put dislikes going out. I really wish I could remove things, but I can't. I guess that's kind of the, the point. Y'all, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just saw across the thing that it said that they were friends, and I was like, that's seems relevant. Ugh. Oh, the lord. That was stupid of me. Sorry, everyone. We are the Cowdingtons. Wow, May rules. Juliet Carrington. 
All right, we got a specific day. Oh, it's just for Valentine's Day. My favorite color is red. Jen doesn't need to know that. Favorite food? Don't. We don't need to know that. We don't need to know any of this, really. Well, it's kind of mockingbird, maybe. Here's all of them. Uh, let's. You never truly understand a person until you consider from this point of view. Until you climb inside of skin and walk around in it. Our ability to kill a mockingbird. I've actually read that one. Great book. It's a very good book. All right. Uh, adding this. Juliet learned to play the guitar. I'm not gonna. This is stupid. I'm gonna disable this. I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna disable this. I don't feel like any of that's relevant. Um. Okay, we know that for sure. What is this? She decided to end her band career once she was single again. When was this post made? Show conflict. Conflict is this. July 5th, 2016. So, there's time. Let's see. Does she say anything about being single again? Does she imply anything? Well, he hasn't, like, made a post about her in a long time. Which always makes me suspicious. Let's go to her thing. I feel like they were dating, but they're probably not dating anymore. Yeah. I feel like they broke up, right? Sometimes I just feel like we're in a suit. That's what you gotta do sometimes. So I feel like the correct answer is that they were dating. So she is single. So let's say that she's single, formerly in a band. used to yell at me for rolling my sleeves like this. Now I do it. On purpose. Let's check out the targets. Oh. Harris. He was. Vocals and guitar. His other name is Hancock. Oh. That was quite an ego we have. Former members. Juliet. Let's uh, add her here. He wasn't against rolling of sleeves. He was against how I rolled them. Apparently the proper way is you have to like roll it like this and then roll it up again. exerting my newfound freedoms to do whatever the hell I want. Okay. Did we add? We did not add. Okay. Let's see. Gigs. Wow. Okay. So they're still active. Hancock decided to quit the band. What? Wait a second. Be 
Because it says he's still active, doesn't it? So it's early 2017, so maybe the thing that happened was... Was quitting the band? Or maybe he's just quitting a lot of different things? claims to have heard that Hancock decided to quit the band, but no official statement has been given out. Wholehearted thumbs down for that bull crap. I don't, I don't know. We haven't seen any indication that he's quit the band yet. This dude rules. Look at this guy. This guy rules. My new favorite band. Let's go in reverse order here. Wow, that is a long time between gigs. We're so criminally good. Angel of music. Sing for me, my angel of music. Thank you for subbing. Um, so criminally good. We're going to get locked up in the cell. It's on. It's going to be one hell of a show. He's showing our new band member, Tubman. Oh, that's, um, Juliet. Wow, that was such a blaze. I really love your new guitarist trees. New guitarist tress. Did I say trees? Guitarist tress. Wow, Blade Gwen, good luck. Stay safe. So we don't know what this is conflicting with yet. Because we can't do show conflict. So I don't want to put it in yet, because I don't know. Okay, so they've had three gigs. Okay. Well, that's all interesting. Oh, should we listen? Advertisement for the poor, nosebleed, sick, overcome, how you live. <laughs> Striped to the core, pipe dreams, go home, you're drunk. A riot. Rise, you're inside. A riot. If you read it like that, it sounds like you're very sick with uh, like a stomach bug. This is a good time. <laughs> Basically, no one saw that because my body was blocking exactly where you entered. <laughs> they only saw a little bit over here. <laughs> Jacob re-entered uh, by running on all fours. That was my cryptid entrance. It, it was your cryptid entrance. It was very good. It's okay. I can just do it for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. It was very good. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. Great. Love to read emails. Hello, Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at Semiramis Flowers. Hereby confirm your order. Following product. Who? Bouquet, lovely, with the tag, to Angela. I 
had that. Ooh, bank account. Total has already subtracted from your bank account. We got bank account info. Uh, all right. Cassandra's back. She's better than ever. Hello. Hi, Cass. What happened yesterday? Juliet, this is Yosef on Cassandra's account. Oh, sorry. Hi, Yosef. I didn't know you could access Cassie's account. I was just finally talk to you. You too. Juliet, have you seen Cassandra since yesterday evening? Heard from her at all? Spoke to her last night via chat. She seemed quite upset about the whole Freedom Plaza thing. And something else she wouldn't talk about. Then there was someone at her door and she went to answer it and never came back. I assumed it was you. We were supposed to meet for dinner. But I had an unexpected meeting with a client. She wasn't exactly happy about the change of plans. She quit the chat and that was it. I haven't heard from her since. In that case, she's probably at home stewing away. Well, I just tried that. She did give me the key to her flat two months ago. But no, Cassie. Also, her, her PC, her PC was still on. Hmm. I guess calling her didn't work either. I tried. No answer. Damn, I hate myself right now. Did you set your number to private? Otherwise, she's probably disappointing you. Private is my default setting. After all, I am a lawyer. Haha, <laughs> Cassie told me you were funny. I think you shouldn't worry too much. It's probably nothing. I mean, we knew already that he was a lawyer, right? Lost hero! Thank you for the sub. Uh, yeah, she just got a bit fiery sometimes. We had an argument once, and, well, guess what happened. See, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I feel like sometimes you know her better than I do, and I'm her goddamn boyfriend. Oh, I doubt that somehow. I mean, you two were in the sock group together, right? You both went to Freedom Plaza protest? And so I thought you'd know other places that were important for her or the two of you where she could be at yes i'm sorry freedom plaza was organized by thought yeah but harrison did all the planning for it i don't know much else oh i see wish i could help but i honestly don't have a clue well thank you anyway juliet don't mention it to ignore this one because it's implying that Cassandra's a lawyer but she's not because it's Yosef on Cassandra's account so let's see the conflict here So the conflict here will definitely have to come to Freedom Plaza demo. I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she's the one organizing this. I don't think she organized, she didn't organize the the plaza demo, right? She organized the concert? Wait. Well, 
definitely have to come to the Freedom Plaza demo. I just have to get to know Julia, especially since she is the one organizing this. What is this referring to? Is it actually referring to the protest? Or is it referring to... the gig? Wait, what the actual... The moment we opened the dock, the malicious code detected was detected in Orwell. We've had 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the hell is on that site? What do you guys think? Do you think it's her or do you think it's Harris? I feel like I think it's Harris because Juliet was the one that said Harris organized it and she was the one actually saying it. I don't know. Let's get her number. Good work. Listener will also track incoming and outgoing. Blah, 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 blah. She's talking to Esther. People are saying Harris. Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. Hey, am I Esther? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, Ma. Is this important? You know I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. I just wanted to check in and make sure you are home for dinner tonight. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. Time for some Bonton clubbing. Honey, please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Mom, I get that you're worried, but I can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. That's exactly what those terrorists want us to do. Avoid public life. We can't give up our faith like that. Honey, please. You don't have much freedom left. You're dead. Mom, I won't die. I can't be so sure about that. I could just as easily be hit by a car tomorrow on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that. Just think. This ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. And what were they called? Alright, jeez, Mom. I'm gonna think about it, okay? Thank you, honey. Mom, I am sorry, but I really have to go if I don't want Victor Rosen to personally fire me. I, I have to go. Sorry, I love you. Bye. Alright, so this says, and I'm going to read all the things. Victor Rosen, boss. This creates a new profile. Juliet's an employee. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put either of these things in, right? Well, does she live at home? We don't know that for sure, right? Well, she doesn't because I can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. I mean, she could still. Time for some Bonton clubbing. I'm going to disable this because she's she said she doesn't like to go out. And I'm going to put in the thing. I'm going to put in this. that not? Oh, it has to go into Harris. Complain much protest that completely went awry? Doesn't sound like good planning to me. Maybe it didn't go awry at all. Maybe it went exactly how he had it in his mind. One down, two more protest locations to go. Juliet to Harris. You got a Donald. Harrison, it's me. Well, well, well. 
Look who it is. I knew this moment would come one day. But you've caught me by surprise. Harrison. Shh, Juliet. Ever since we first made out in that clear night on the Stellingen, Stellingen Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. I know you never meant to... Will you please spare me your juvenile bullshit? Ha, uh, I didn't believe you at first, but it really is you. To which I owe the pleasure of your beautiful voice. You miss me, right? So this is why you did it? To make me call you back again? The heck are you talking about? Oh, come on. Don't play dumb. Great administrator. I'm talking about the thought page you so generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec. What the? the fuck is this shit? You messing around with me, Jules? Are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Why would I fucking want to disgrace thought? Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of thought all of a sudden? Ooh. Thought you didn't do this shit anymore since Abe disappeared. But turning it around that way made a damn fine excuse for you to bail out on the two of us, huh? Maybe then because you disgraced thought by hiding all the articles on thought's blog except for Cassandra's. Abe archived the first ones because it didn't even want us to know. None of us could have ever, none of us could ever access them. I merely did the same with the rest because that would also be in Abe's interest. And Cass wanted to shove her article around. Oh, please. I know you deleted all your rebellious posts to secure your cozy job writing the ridiculous opinion column for the TNB. You know, it's funny you dare speaking of disgrace when Rosen is the government's personal bitch case Kate in case you didn't know almost makes you the same in my book Pfft. so you really don't know anything about the hack then? I don't have a friggin clue can you revert the changes? you bet they even hunt down the son of a bitch who just revert it okay? I don't care who did it I just can't stand our memories being toyed around with okay okay we'll be done in no time ma'am never could say no to you if only Anyway, thank you. Okay, so we got a lot there. We got a lot. This is interesting. We should add this. Well, is that so? Still need to be observing them, though. Okay, so Abe disappeared. That's also important. Goldfell's disappeared, causing the group to be inactive? They're no longer active? Well, it seems like someone still is. So, the turning it around that way made a damn fine excuse for you to bail out on two of us, huh? Form a relationship, and in the relationship with blah, blah, blah. Maybe then you. Okay. I'm gonna add that, because that's interesting. like today's new targets have come history. Something more than belonging to thought. Maybe then because you disgraced thought by hiding all the articles. Okay, we should add that. First, the timeline on the thought blog. You have a lot to hide, Mr. Adol. So we should add this. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on a group's blog? Towards former members. A hidden agenda, perhaps. Oh, please. I know you deleted all your rebellious posts. Could secure your blah, 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 blah. I agree with that. Let's do that. quite regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. TNB probably didn't know either. Don't tell TNB, you ass. Okay. Well, that's it. I feel like we don't need to know this. Um... Let's see this, and then... From unknown person to Harrison O'Donnell. Subject, I see you. 
P. Knock, knock, Harrison. Seems I caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Why, that's fine. You don't know me, and I like to keep it that way. But I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know, what you know, about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore those bombs might just carry your name tag. What? Get what I'm talking about, right? So, righteous hacker initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the gov, but I will do what I must. So give me one reason not to do it, and I might reconsider. So I feel like we should add this. We have to add this. Right? That letter was so hard for me to read. I hate incomplete words. I hate the style of writing. It drives me nuts. Oh, great. Now there is a hacker involved in all this because the situation was bad enough as is. I wonder what this is all about. I feel like we should have that. All right. So I feel like that's going to be it for today. Seems we are not the only one interested in Mr. O'Donnell's tangling and all this. I wonder if the guy has any proof of what he claims. We're done here. I'm going to go rest. And I'm going to have a bite to eat. And then I'm going to see you all in less than two hours for the Drawfee stream. 7 p.m. Remember to watch. Twitch.tv forward slash Drawfee show. So go watch. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.